because people deserve it. George Cambosis uh, holds most of these. Look, look at this array of, of glitter in front of you. Um, he's earned this. He beat Teofimo Lopez. He's taken every challenge put in front of him. He's fought in front of, at times, nobody. He's traveled the world and fought on other people's territory time after time to get the opportunity to be the undisputed champion. And now he'll have the opportunity to, be, to gather every belt if he can beat Devin Haney. You know, these guys, there's a, lot of, a little bit of hostility, a lot of uh, heat between them. Um, that's to some extent expected. But you have to look at these two guys and you have to admire how they got here and what they're doing here. George Fotiafima Lopez, there were a lot of people, including myself, who gave him the option, come back, take a victory lap, fight somebody easy. You know, you don't have to fight the huge fight next. He said, no, you have to listen to me. I only want to fight the big fights. And we went out and we made a fight with, when we couldn't originally make a deal with, uh, with Devin's promoter at the time, um, we, we made a deal with Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, a war erupted in the Ukraine. The Ukraine was invaded. Lomachenko did what a, a, a patriot would do, and he's back in the Ukraine right now. Um, George gave me one option go and give Haney this opportunity, see if he really wants it. And this kid right over here to my left is a warrior and a guy that wants those belts and, and, and is willing to take a challenge and was willing to get on an airplane and go halfway around the world, including going halfway around the world without his dad, manager, you know, lead trainer, who's been with him his whole career, because he understands the importance of this moment and what this opportunity means. This is boxing and Victoria, Melbourne, you're getting one of the best fights you can possibly get in the world, between two of the best young fighters in the world, between two of the best young champions in the world. And history is going to be made in Melbourne when for the first time in the modern boxing era, four belts, all four organizations are unified for a unified lightweight title. So I, I commend my champion next to me, the most confident fighter I've ever worked with, uh, a, a man that really does um, believe in himself to a degree that I've never seen before and every time he prognosticates something, it comes true. And to my left, the young man that was willing to take the challenge, do something that very few American fighters do, honestly, go abroad for their opportunity. Um, you know, that's not something historically that happens very often in American boxing. But Devin Haney's a great young champion. So I want to commend them both and make people realize, get out there, come to Marvel Stadium on, on, on Sunday because this is a moment in history and it's something very special. Thank you also for having me a part of it. Uh, growing up here in Melbourne and being at Marvel Stadium so many times over the years, it, it really is a dream come true to be fighting there. Um, the crowd's in for a treat for my fight. Uh, my opponent, Espinosa, he comes, he brings a lot of pressure, he throws a lot of punches, and I plan on standing there in the middle of the ring, meeting him there and breaking him down. Um, for those coming on Sunday, make sure you don't leave after the main event, stick around, because my fight's going to be the fireworks at the end of the night, and you don't want to miss it. It's a, a real pleasure to be here. Uh, the last time uh, I was here, we were promoting a fight in uh, uh, Queensland, Brisbane, uh, and that was a great experience. Um, I don't know necessarily that the guy who won should have won, but it was a, it was a, it was a, a good fight and a good, good promotion. Uh, so I'm looking forward uh, to uh, Sunday. And why Sunday afternoon is because you look at the, the calendar and if you do it Sunday afternoon, it's prime time, which means evening, back in the United States. So ESPN uh, will be uh, telecasting the card uh, at the sweet spot where people traditionally turn on their television or their streaming service and watch an event. So it really works out well, and as long as uh, uh, the Aussies uh, don't mind uh, an afternoon fight on Sunday, it's a great, great marriage uh, of doing the fight here and having it televised uh, back in the States. Uh, this should be a terrific, terrific match. Uh, uh, the two young men uh, are the top of their game. Uh, there's a lot of pride uh, that they each have. Uh, 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 George uh, 
uh, beat uh, Teofimo Lopez, uh, a fight that he was frankly not expected to win based on uh, the so-called experts, but he won that fight and won all of these belts. Uh, and uh, Devin Haney, uh, one of our bright young fighters in the United States uh, who is uh, attracted a lot of attention and uh, always uh, gives a great performance. Both guys are undefeated. Uh, this is what boxing is all about and it should be a terrific, terrific match. Uh, the undercard that uh, has been put together uh, is really a quality one. Uh, I'm particularly happy to see uh, uh, the Maloney boys on the card because during the uh, uh, COVID uh, pandemic, uh, we arranged for them to come to the United States and they did fights with nobody in the audience because we weren't allowed to sell tickets. Uh, they performed extraordinarily well. Uh, and then they'd come back to Australia, the poor guys, and you had two weeks, you had to stay in the government hotel, right? Three, three occasions. Three, yeah, three occasions. George Cambosis went through that after me. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. So anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a really good card. A great, great event. I think everybody is going to enjoy themselves. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit about being undisputed. That sounds great. You have the belts from every organization. But there's a downside to it because there are four organizations. Each one charges the fighters 3%. So now if they're undisputed and there's four bells, that's 12%. That's a lot of money to take out of a purse, right? Uh, but that's what it is. So there is, like everything else in life, a downside. Wonderful to be undisputed, terrible to pay 12% of your purse to these organizations, right? And uh, I'm really happy to see uh, this young Filipino, even though you're fighting my guy Maloney, uh, but I, you know, whenever I see a Filipino on the dais, brings me back a number of years ago when I was promoting uh, Manny Pacquiao, and uh, who, by the way, really won the election. They <laughs> stole it from him. <laughs> But I'm bringing Trump in to argue the case. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a great, great afternoon, a terrific event, and thank you all for having me. First of all, I would like to thank God and Top Rank Promotion for the Warum uh, for uh, inviting this big event. And I'm so happy and excited because when uh, I'm part of this game and to be part of Cambosa Haney. Uh, and Cambosa is my running mate when Manny Pacquiao is uh, always fight in, 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 in Las Vegas. And thanks also to Team Maloney for choosing me, his opponent. And I'm trained hard this, for this fight. And Maloney is a good fighter and I'm, uh, I'm a good fighter too. This is a good fight. No question about that. Uh, your opponent, Jason, uh, you're ranked by all four governing bodies. Uh, this is a stepping stone to get back to a world title shot. Yeah, this is um, a massive opportunity for me, and this is gonna a win over Polite Day will give me my earn myself another uh, opportunity to fight him for a world title, and I'm just so excited and so grateful to be a part of this show. Thank you to Bob Arum, Top Rank, and Luda Bella for this massive opportunity. Being a part of this event has been tremendous, and just giving me more hunger and more determination to collect these belts and one day headline shows it myself at Marvel Stadium and to do that and achieve my dreams and become Australia's next world champion, this is a must win fight for me. I've worked extremely hard and I'm ready to get the job done. It's not a world title eliminator but it certainly has the feel of that. Good luck against Aston Plick Day on Sunday. Thank you for being here both this morning. Devon, if I can start with you, um, 48 hours from the biggest fight of your life, has the significance of this event dawned on you yet? 
First off, I want to, you know, thank God, thank Allah, uh, my team, Top Rank, Ludabella, um, Bob Arum, ESPN, all the media that came out today. Um, yeah, this is the this is the biggest stage, um, but this is something that I've uh, I dreamed of. I knew that one day I would be here. I didn't think that it would come this early, but um, I'm thankful, and uh, it's time. George has called you a rat, a snitch, an informant. Have the mind games affected your preparation? No, I knew that, you know, coming in, I knew that he was going to try anything that he can to throw me off my game and, you know, get me un unfocused. But uh, no matter what, he can say what he want to say. Uh, I'm going to do what I'm going to do regardless when we step into that ring, and uh, I will come out victorious by any means. You have sacrificed a lot to be here. It's well known. Your father, of course, is back watching this uh, from Las Vegas as we speak. Um, how satisfying will that make it then if you do become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world? I mean, uh, very satisfying. You know, uh, I did it a, a against all odds when, when, it, when it was, I wouldn't say stacked against me, but when, when it wasn't working in, working in my favor. Um, they were trying to do anything that they can to put me at a disadvantage, but uh, when I come out on top, it's going to be that much sweeter. And uh, I look forward to, you know, bringing the belts back uh, and uh, show, showing my dad uh, what we accomplished together. Despite the hurdles, uh, you are the favourite with the betting agencies for this particular bout. Um, do you see yourself as the favourite? I mean, I'm, of course, I feel like I'm the far better fighter. Um, I have far more skills than him, and uh, I mean, I will show it on, on Sunday. It's, it's, it's for me to show in the ring. You know, um, the betting odds really don't matter because uh, I will show you, no, ma no, matter, no matter what they say, what the people say, anybody can say anything, but uh, I'm levels above him. Uh, George, uh, the sacrifices Devin talks of, you know of so well. It has been a very long journey to get to this point here this Sunday at Marvel Stadium. Just want to uh, thank everybody for being here, all the media, obviously uh, my promoter Lou DiBella, Bob Barham for making this possible, the Melbourne gov government all the sanctioning bodies here as well. And um, it has been a long, hard journey. Everyone knows that. But I'm ready for Sunday. All the moments have got me ready for Sunday again. And I will shock the world again. Underdog, beautiful. We are ready. How battle-hardened are you, given the preparation, the way you've plotted this path to get to this point? I've been through it all, so whatever comes to the table on Sunday, we are ready. We are fully prepared and we are a warrior. Whatever way we have to go, we are prepared. You have dialled up the, the mental welfare. If you were playing in the Australian cricket team, you'd be in the, in the slip cordon, chirping the batsman, as we say, in this part of the world. Has it had an effect on Devon Haney? I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying the moment, just talking the truth. And uh, if it has, if it hasn't, so be it. We step in there on Sunday, and that's where it matters. When you walked into Marvel Stadium on Monday, you said, I manifest these things, I visualise them, and they happen. What have you visualised happening on Sunday? Victory by any means. I have manifested everything, every part of this journey. They said it would never be here, but only two people really believed it, me and my father. So uh, I've manifested my victory, and like I said, victory by any means on Sunday, whatever way it's got to go. I mentioned Devon is the favourite for this fight with the betting agencies. Uh, you are the underdog. I guess that sits pretty comfortably with you. I love the underdog status. It's okay. They were, they've been against me my whole career. They've been saying that the whole career, so I'm still the top dog. And after Sunday, I will remain the top dog. Again, we'll have... Well, I'd be able to answer that question a lot better on um, uh, late uh, Sunday afternoon after the fight takes place. But I expect a really good fight. And that's obviously, if this fight is to be remembered as the big fight that we all hope that it is, uh, that will depend on the fighters and depend on uh, what happens on Sunday. I'm optimistic that this will be a tremendous battle. Uh, I know that our broadcaster ESPN uh, in the United States uh, is publicizing this fight uh, tremendously because uh, the fight will be shown both on the linear channel on ESPN, also the streaming service ESPN Plus, 
and also uh, the Spanish language ESPN. So everybody back in the States is looking forward uh, to this match and uh, we expect uh, a tremendous audience. When uh, Manny Pacquiao fought here a number of years ago uh, in Brisbane, uh, we did, uh, I think, four and a half to five million homes, which was a tremendous audience, and I hope we do as, at least that uh, on this telecast. I want to uh, <clears throat> bring up a boxing history piece. In December of 1908, uh, African-American by the name of Jack Johnson came over here and fought for the world title against all odds, and he left with the title, came back to America victorious, and they had a parade and everything. What would this fight mean to you to repeat history in boxing? Like did, I said, did he uh, fought in Australia? On, Sydney, Australia. Australia. But, Russ before, Curtis Bay. Yeah, it happened before, and it'll, and it'll happen again. History repeats itself, and uh, I'll show you on Sunday. This will this will be uh, this will be huge. This will be everything, and. Um, you know, we might have a parade back, back in, uh, in the States after. And George, uh, to be fighting on this big stage, all the belts on the line, you got the whole country behind you. Tell us how it makes you feel to be on this stage. It's, it's very uh, motiva motivating, very uh, you know, inspiring to have my country's behind me. I haven't had that for a long time, so you know, I'm very uh, you know, embraced by all of it. I'm just going to that next level, like I always have. But ultimately, it's me and him in that ring on Sunday. Has it been a goal for you to just outbox him, or do you believe you possess the power to hurt him or even stop him? I mean, at the end of the day, this, this is boxing. Uh, and we, we're fighting with eight-ounce gloves. One, one punch can change any fight. So, um, you know, you never know. Um, but I'm prepared for anything, you know. we. We're able to make adjustments, but I have a game plan that, that we're going to stick to, and I feel like uh, it's going to really work. We've been studying George. We know the mistakes that he makes. We know the things that he does good. We know the things that he doesn't like, and uh, I looked up to, to execute it. Thank you. And just one more question for Jason, if that's... Uh, congratulations for, for one. It's great to have um, you know, so, so many you know, great fighters on the undercard, you know, especially guys that have been there at that high level have been former world champions, have been in world title fights, have accomplished championship glory. So for myself, I feel very uh, honoured and privileged to be able to bring this back to Australia and give the opportunity for these guys again to get that glory. So I wish them all the best and uh, I know they're all going to be, uh, have a su successful fight on Sunday. Yeah, no, it's sad, mate. It's, this is such a great thing for Australian boxing. You know, it's very important for us and very important for me to help grow this sport in this country because I love boxing and I love Australia and it's so great to be back fighting in front of my hometown after two and a half years of being on the road fighting in America. It's great to be back here and having these massive events in this country. Um, it's inspiring to be a part of it and as I said, I want to keep winning, I want to become world champion and I want more of these events in Australia. I want to headline my own shows at Marvel Stadium and give the next generation the opportunity like George has for us all to shine on the worldwide stage. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to be a part of it. And hopefully the whole 55,000, 60,000 that we get in Marvel Stadium all walk away having really enjoyed himself and say, geez, I can't wait to see these Aussie fighters step in the ring again and they get, beh get behind us and support us like we deserve to be supported. Hey, he's scared, George. He's scared. He's too small. He's scared. He's scared. 